All right, all right. So the first things that are going to be most important for 2022 are going to be the full moons, the new moons, and we're also going to be looking at some of the different phenomena, which are more than likely going to be, uh, at least for this specific class, retrogrades are going to be a big deal. Every time there's a retrograding planet, we're going to want to take time to review, redistribute, realign ourselves into what that planet specifically means. So I'm going to be going over first the new moons and full moons, and it's going to go from January 2nd all the way until December 23rd of 2022. So you just want to write down these dates. They're all going to be very important for you. So the first one is going to be new moon in Capricorn, January 2nd. This is going to be about business. This is going to be about long-term success. This is going to be about relationships because and that's going to be our first new moon of 2022. That's going to be one of the more critical ones just because it's going to put us in a position for us to understand what long-term looks like. The full moon on January 17th is going to be in Cancer. That is going to be another great time period for us to nurture ourselves with our family. It's going to be a great time to build your intuition, your creativity as well. The next important date is the new moon, February 1st in Aquarius. That's going to be more in alignment with being an individual, allowing us to set ourselves up to work with our community more because Aquarius handles those types of things. After that, we have a full moon in Leo on February 16th. That is going to be in alignment with more expression, more creativity, romance. This would be a perfect time to get into and looking at relationships. There's going to be a new moon in Pisces on March 2nd at 1235. New moon in Pisces is about introspection. It's about spirituality, creativity, and long term. It's going to be overall about how we are going to use our spirituality and our intuition to create the things that we want to see happen. We have a full moon in Virgo, March 18th on, uh, at 318. So full moons are going to be, for those of you who don't know, man, that we talk a lot about manifesting and not manifesting. You're always manifesting and you're always cleansing. New moons are the best time to start something new or at least plan to start something new. Full moons are the best time to get rid of the things that you no longer need so that you can come so you can start into um, a more aligned state. So whenever we're using these dates, those are the intentions that you want to set over those time periods. The other thing is whenever there's a new moon, whenever the moon is with the sun in the same position, what we're going to want to do here is um, those are Kazemi days. So every time a Kazemi, if you didn't know, is when the sun and the moon are at the exact same degree. For example, this is a full moon that we're at today where we can see the moon. This is the moon here is opposite the sun here. And they're at this exact opposition here between the sun, this dot circle, and this crescent moon. Whenever they're opposite like this, this is illuminating, the sun is illuminating the moon. So whatever the moon is in is being highlighted. For example, today it's in Gemini. So this is going to put us in a position to do Gemini things as a society. This is encouraging us to communicate, share ideas, socialize, make new friends. All of these things are important to Gemini because Gemini is an air sign. And everyone has Gemini inside of their natal chart because every single chart has 12 houses. So let's continue down the line. New moon, again, uh, in Aries, April 1st. Full moon in Libra, April 16th. 
new moon, solar eclipse uh, in Taurus, April 30th. Solar eclipses are the best time to rest. Those are the best times to look at how is the ego doing? How are you doing on a personal level? Are you accomplishing your goals? Do you feel like you know you could take some time to reset and allow yourself to uh, recapture what it is that you have been working on, whether that's you know relationships, whether that's your personality, your re your finances, your communication style, your home life. How do you connect with men and women? And all of these all of these new moons and full moons are great times to do these things, based on where it falls in your chart. So I'll go down the line. And we'll go through that in a second. Full moon lunar eclipse is in Scorpio, May 16th. New moon in Gemini is May 30th. Full moon in Sagittarius is June 16th, June 14th, excuse me. New moon is in Cancer, June 28th. Full moon in Capricorn, July 13th. New moon in Leo, July 28th, full moon in Aquarius, August 11th, new moon in Virgo, August 27th, full moon in Pisces, September 10th, new moon in Libra, September 25th, full moon in Aries, October 9th, new moon solar eclipse in Scorpio, October 25th, Full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, November 8th. New moon in Sagittarius, November 23rd. Full moon Gemini, December 7th. New moon in Capricorn, December 23rd. All these dates are going to be massively important. Um, just for manifesting, calibrating, allowing yourself to see things more quickly. I would say the moon affects us the most and the fastest, just because it's one of the closer planets to Earth that we can visibly see energetically what it does for us too. Is it allows us to step into our intuitive space, our connection with our divine feminine, our connection with what it means to um, express our internal uh, dialogue. So when you're sitting there, when you're watching shows, when you're hanging out with people, when you're doing these things, and these dates come up, these are important dates for you to plan around and allow yourself to um, thrive. The nice thing is, this is on a, it's pretty much on a clock. So if you notice, every single day, there's really, um, there's really just about you know, 15, 14 ish days in between each full moon and new moon. So every two weeks, we can put ourselves in a position where we can start looking at our life and allowing ourselves to say, okay, how am I going to get better this week? And then two weeks later, how am I going to get better this week? And this is why astrology is so powerful, is because it's on a timer, it's just clockwork. And this is going to be affecting each of the houses that is in your own specific chart. So this is one of the important things that we want to talk about here um, between new moons and full moons. Again, new moons are a great, perfect, perfect time to say, you know, what do I want to, what do I want to create next? What do I want to put into my life next? What do I want to redistribute energetically from inside into the world and putting yourself in a position to do that starts with journaling, getting a journal and allowing yourself to manifest on these uh, days is going to be essential. Um, using your notes, I've tried it in your phone, you know, typing it on your phone is helpful. It's not as powerful. Definitely not. So whenever we're using these dates, we want to manifest by using a pen and paper so that we can create the best environment internally. And that's gonna come through the hand to mind connection that allows us to do these things, all right? So now that we have all of the 
eclipse and moon dates, the next thing that we want to look at is what are some of the other um, important dates? There's going to be some planets that are going to be visible in the sky. So I want to address that with you. Um, and this is depending on, obviously, it's depending on where you live. I'm in the United States. If you live in the uh, United Kingdom, of course, things will be very different for you. But overall, we will have some visible planets. Now, I'm going to go over the five planets that will be visible throughout the year because um, each of them are going to be very powerful and potent in your chart as well. And I'll give you the meaning for each one. So Mercury is a planet of thinking and communication. Mercury looks like this and some of you already know this but mercury is this symbol here mercury represents thinking communication it also represents coins i know a lot of you are in europe so loonies are represented by mercury mercury itself is how we speak and talk to other people it's also how we have internal dialogue so when you're working with your Mercury symbol, depending on what sign it's in, you want to honor the signs element and the signs modality. That's how we're going to break it down, which we'll get into in a second here. So Mercury is going to be visible January 29th through March 24th in the morning. It's going to be visible May 31st through July 9th in the morning. It's also gonna be visible September 30th through October 26th in the morning. These are gonna be the days that you want to cast spells around thinking, communication. What do I mean by a spell? I mean intentional actions. You wanna make and honor that time, that space, because it's gonna allow you to manifest better thoughts, better communication. How do you honor that? You can do it in so many ways. The first one, like I said before, is taking the time to write things down and journal. I personally and professionally always advise when you're use, when you're in your journal, setting intentions around what the planet does, thinking and communication for Mercury. So I will have better thoughts this month. I'll come up with new ideas this month would be a journal prompt. I'm able to solve problems quickly in, in my mind would be a journal prompt for Mercury being visible, okay? These are just ways that you want to set yourself up for success so that you can allow yourself to really thrive and win mentally and informed communication. In the evening, we have January. So in the evening, you'll be able to see Mercury January 1st to January 17th. You'll be able to see it April 11th. This is at night now. April 11th to May 12th, July 25th to September 17th, November 25th to December 31st. Okay, that's all the Mercury dates. Mercury is the great time to do money spells because Mercury rules over coins. So when, when I say a spell, um, money's not just going to fall out of the sky for you. Of course it can, 100%. Not, never going to deny that. But also, when we are setting up our intentions, we want to say, you know, in your journal, you're going to want to write down things like your plans around money. What do you want to accomplish with your money? How much do you want to make? Do you want to make 2000 a month, 5000 a month, 10000 a month? What is a way that we can set that structure up? Because if you do it on paper and you make the plan about how you're going to create this dream, we can make it a reality also because now it's touching paper. Next is Venus. Venus is going to be visible January 15th to September 15th in the morning. Venus in astrology represents love, beauty, our environment, our relationship, our intimate relationships. It also represents law of attraction because most of us, when we're using the law of attraction, we're tapping into our heart space. And when we tap into our heart space, Venus, Venus rules over Taurus and Libra. Taurus rules the throat, Libra rules your thighs. So those are two important entry spots in astrology because when you eat, this space is activated. 
And then when you, you know, let things exit, that's when your thighs are activated, that area, that part of that part of your body. So Venus is um, one of these beautiful times for us to set ourselves up for the law of attraction. What do you want to attract towards you? Do you want a better income? Do you want a, you know, do you want a partner? Do you want to um, access more of your partner? Do you want to have more emotional depth, passion? Do you want to have more fulfilling relationships with your friends, with your family members? What is it that you feel and deem to be important for you? That's what Venus is going to highlight in terms of attraction. The Venus in your chart is also going to be activated during that time. Um, if you haven't already gone and taken a look at my progress chart video, definitely go check that out over on YouTube. The progress chart is going to be one of the more important times for us to you uh, looking at your progress chart is going to be one of the more important things and uh, tools for us to um, really organize what it is that we're looking for in money and relationships, which are two of the more important things for humans, but also Venus does cover our internal affair with ourselves. So how we choose to love ourselves as well. So when you're, when your Venus is visible in the sky, a lot of astrologers don't really highlight it, at least on social media, but when these things are visible in the sky, it's an important time to work with these planets. Okay. And again, Venus is in the morning going to be available January 15th to September 15th. In the evening, it's going to be available January 1st through the 3rd, and then December 3rd to the 31st. Mars, the planet of aggression, being a warrior, being um, passionate, it also rules over your blood. Uh, this planet is going to be visible in the morning of January 1st through December 8th. 2022, December 8th through December 31st of 2022, okay? Mars is going to ask you, and Mars is the greatest planet I feel like to work out with, to like engineer our life with in terms of energy because Mars is the smallest but the fastest planet. So it has a lot of power. It rotates a lot. It learns lessons very quickly. Mars also rules over Scorpio and uh, Aries. So it allows us to tap into those spaces in our chart. Wherever you have Scorpio and Aries, by the way, this is the Venus symbol here. And this is the Mars symbol here. It's gonna tap into our Scorpio and Aries part of our chart because it's a ruling planet. So where's Aries, the symbol right here? Okay, Scorpio is right here. The M is going out. With Virgo, the M's coming in. So you'll know this is Virgo. The symbols will almost always be like earth colored or like darker with earth. So here's Virgo in that purplish color. And then this is Scorpio in the bluish color. Almost all the water signs are labeled in some kind of blue tint on most uh, astrology calculators or you know chart calculators so just know just try not to mix them up um again the m goes in for virgo it goes out for scorpio which is ruled by mars so for the journal prompts for mars you want to say you know i have enough energy to exercise i have enough energy to con uh, conquer my goals i have enough energy and you want to write these things down if you struggle with the I statements, write you. Um, that's something that I've been learning. So an example is, I have enough energy to accomplish my goals. If that's not working for you, if you tried it for like you know a week or two, add in you to that statement. So when you're journaling, you can say you as if you're talking to yourself and calling yourself you. Because sometimes your internal dialogue may not be aligned with I especially if your self-talk isn't extremely strong. So we want to utilize the you are able to, you can do da, 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 whatever it is that you want to conquer with your Mars placement. Conquer meaning any challenge that you're having, you know, conversations that are just hard, things that you do in your life that are just challenging, things that just don't always align with you. 
if you want to overcome them, utilizing your Mars placement, utilizing your Mars zodiac in your chart um, will be helpful, okay? So Jupiter is the planet of expansion, of growth. Jupiter is right here. So whenever you utilize Jupiter, um, whether that's on paper, whether that's in your chart, it's going to be about growing. Any, anywhere that Jupiter is, it grows everything. The zodiac, it grows um, the intention set around it. It allows you to learn. Jupiter's huge on knowledge. Jupiter's also very big on philosophy, ethics. It's a, it's a benevolent planet, so it's a very big planet. So wherever it is, it's really, it brings blessings. So Jupiter is going to be visible March 19th through September 26th, and then January 1st through September 20th, and then again, September 26th through December 31st. This is great. Jupiter is one of the great, great, great uh, places if you want to set yourself up for success. These these dates are going to really highlight and bring out a lot of beautiful things for you. A lot of knowledge will be revealed on these dates to you. Okay, these are the these are all the cheat codes. So whenever we have Jupiter visible in the sky, whether it's in the morning or the night, we're going to be able to really ask for, you know, I want an increase, I want to experience more um, internal fulfillment, I want to be more internally happy. Um, th and then Jupiter will give you that if you ask for that in your journal. Okay, that's going to be a huge deal. That's going to be a huge um, ask, really. And you can use your Jupiter placements at any given time. It's just that when it's visible in the sky with these dates, it's going to be more exuberant, it's going to be more, it's going to be felt more. Saturn in our chart shows us our boundaries restrictions and how we create freedom because once you create um, restrictions you can create freedom as well in your life all right wherever your saturn is this is saturn this symbol right here wherever your saturn is in your chart when it's visible in the sky on december 22nd uh, through august 14th in the morning and then later on in the evening It'll be visible January 1st through the 19th and then August 14th through December 31st. This is going to be great for us to say, you know, I need to create more structure in my life to accomplish this goal. I need to create more structure in my life to accomplish this task. Um, whenever Saturn's involved, it's going to be allowing us to step into what it means to have, um, you know, organ be organized. The more organized we are, you know, with our calendar, with our time, setting alarms, waking up, going to sleep on a certain schedule, we put ourselves in a position to access our Saturn placement. Saturn rules over Aquarius and Capricorn both. And I'll show you the symbols. This is Capricorn. This is Aquarius. So they're right next to each other. It's going to put us in a position to utilize the Capricorn and Aquarius in our chart. These are important dates because of that one specific reason. And when we're using uh, when we're using these, this is going to be a great time to say, you know, I want to accomplish these goals. I just need to do these things. I need to sacrifice this amount of time every day for, you know, you can say even two, three weeks. I'm going to sacrifice this amount of time to form this habit. Once you form the habit after 21 days, which would be perfect because you'll be going through uh, a whole moon cycle, which is the full moon, new moon cycle, where you can literally ask the moon, set the intentions around the moon to say, okay, I want to, I want to pick up cycling. I want to start dancing. I want to start trading crypto. I want to start whatever it is that you're thinking about internally. You want to set that intention in your journal plan around it, make sure that it aligns with you, okay? So that's all the important dates off the top uh, of this. We're going to get more into weekly forecasts throughout the year, uh, but this is just going to be one of the more important steps for manifesting is utilizing the moon and utilizing the visible planets 
this is going to allow us to manifest more quickly, way more easily as well.